Hey everyone, in this video I want to go over how to get started with the Azure Machine Learning Service. Now this service is fairly new uh, to Azure and what it mainly does is that it's a way to manage the end-to-end -end machine learning lifecycle. So that means you can use the service to develop and build and train your machine learning models and you can do Deploying them to production environment, and you can even monitor the models within the production environment. So, first thing we can do is go to our Azure portal. You can create a service, and we can do machine learning workspace. Click create, and then we can give it the workspace name and then the usual subscription, resource group, and location. And you can click Create. So that's just one way to do it within the portal. I'm not going to do that right now. Instead, I'm going to go to Jupyter and show how you can do this using the SDK that they have. Now before we get started, we need to make sure we have the SDK installed. So you can do a pip install Azure ML-SDK. And then in brackets, you can put notebooks. And make sure that gets installed. All right, from there, we can do some imports. So from Azure ML.core, we want to import workspace and experiment. And I'm going to import the JSON module as well because I have my subscription key and a config file. So to do that, I'm going to do a json.load and we're going to open the config.json and now I can create a workspace by using that workspace module that we imported and we call create on it and here we just give it a few properties first we give it a, a name and so we do demo workspace and then I'm going to get a subscription ID. And this is what I'm going to get from that config file that I mentioned. Next, I'll give it a resource group that we want to put this onto. And this is going to be a new resource group. So I'm call it MLRG. And then since it's going to be new, I'm going to say create resource group is true. And then I'm going to give it a location for the location on where to deploy this to. And I'm going to put East US 2. All right, we'll run this and it's going to take probably a few minutes to run. And so we'll, we'll come back once this is completed. All right, so this finished. And as you can see, it deployed App Insights, Key Vault, a uh, storage account uh, along with our workspace. And we also have uh, CPU and GPU compute targets that we can use to train our models. So with our workspace created now, we can use that to create an experiment. We can use that experiment module that we imported and we give it the workspace of workspace that we created and we can give our experiment a name and I'm going to give it new experiment. With our experiment created, we can create a run within our experiment, which basically starts logging everything within this run. And with our experiment starting to, to log, we can log several things here. We can log different metrics, that we may get, such as R squared, and we'll say this is 08, 0 0.84. We can log stuff like lists as well. Just give it some random numbers here. We can log all sorts of other things, such as confusing metrics, 
uh, images, different predictions, uh, rows and tables of our data. So there's a good a lot of options there. And once we're done logging, we just call complete. And that ends the, the login of our experiment. And with that, we can go back to the Azure portal and look at that workspace that we created. And first of all, we have all these assets here, and this is everything that you can do within your machine learning service. So we saw the experiments, how to create experiments and log to it. You can also create pipelines. Uh, there's different compute targets that we saw. You can access those there. You can manage your models, uh, your images and deployments, and different activities within your workspace here. And I'll have videos on all of these as well to go into more detail. But first, let's go into the experiments. There's that new experiments that we created. Let me go down here. This is that run that we did. And here is that chart of the, that list that we did. It automatically gives you a chart of it. And down here is our track metrics of that R squared that we did. And there's a vector of the list and any images that we would have. So it's kind of a just a quick introduction on how to get started with the Azure Machine Learning Service. There's definitely a lot more that you can do here, but I just wanted to show how to how to get started with it and how to create a workspace. So until next time, thanks for watching.